Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new come shopping with me in Primark for October. The ultimate fall season, autumn fall season. So we are gonna be heading into Primark today to see what is new in store for October 2022. I'm super, super excited because I didn't actually get to go last month. So this is hopefully gonna be a lot of new stuff a lot to cover for you guys i'm definitely in the mood to grab some good bits of fashion um and yeah last time it didn't disappoint so this time but before we get into the video please give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you do like primark content videos because we have plenty of those on my channel also head on over to my instagram and give me a little follow there because i really really appreciate it and we have a few giveaways coming this season and Christmas season, obviously. So without further ado, let's head on into Primark. Okay, so coming straight in, we have got loads of autumn colors sticking out at us, lots of autumn patterns as well. And then this is the first thing that kind of caught my eye, which is this sort of cherub style, which was really big on Pretty Little Thing last year. Um, but this is like a little ribbed crop top, like where it's got the boning in it. So it's quite good quality. £12 though for this tiny crop top, but it is interesting to see this design. We've also got a sort of, this is like a felt skirt actually, lovely colour at £9. I then was really drawn to this um, tartan, it's actually it's corduroy jacket, £25, but it's a really nice blazer. I'd imagine this would have come with a matching set, but I can't see that right here. They have got the sort of tennis skirt here at £9 with a lovely bit of orange and the sort of mustard colour in it that does have a matching top over here so this is a little cohort set that you can get with the top at 11 if you're still in the office these could be a nice little addition to the autumn office wardrobe there's some pinstripe trousers um, the tags have all been pulled off I don't know why this happens sometimes I'm gonna imagine they're around like 15 pounds though my mum has just bought flares I swear flares are gonna be coming back in I really like the look of these ones though with the seam down the middle and these are 20 pounds um, but I'm really liking the look of these I just don't know I'm quite a big calfed girl so I'm like I don't know whether flares do everything for me but I feel like I may want to try these on I've just realized this is actually corduroy material the last one I was talking about was tweed in the last blazer but this is a cord sh shacket so shackets are coming back in this year this is a beautiful chocolate color for autumn and these are 20 pounds always buy them oversized because they just look so nice thrown over and I've just noticed they've even got a matching little bag here if you wanted to go all out and that one is nine pounds so these jeans are really interesting I think these are kind of like a mom jean but they're oh no, they're straight legs sorry but they are quite baggy and they've got all the different types of denim and rips on them so they're quite interesting and they are 19 pounds so we've got quite a few different checkered shirts in these are actually really nice and soft they're like a brushed cotton but quite soft so they've got this sort of like wine color they've got one there with more of like orange in them and they're big long and oversized ones these are coming in at nine pounds which is not too bad because they are quite big and oversized despite the fact it is obviously the autumn season we still have loads and loads and loads of colors in store this is on the main floor as well as soon as you come in so i'm noticing these ones which actually i feel like were left over from summer but we do have the classic cottons in and they're all still in the neon colors and then we've got a couple of neutral in here as too if you like green then i'm really drawn to these cargo trousers with the white stitching as sort of a feature so these are mid-rise and they're 20 pounds but i don't know i'm not a green person but i really like the look of these okay so we're in october but there is still an incredible amount of sale and color so obviously this is what was all left over from summer but it's honestly taking over most of the bottom floor at the moment. So prices are cut to about 50% off of things. But honestly, it's a bit of a jumble sale down here. I don't know about you, but I cannot ever be asked to go through any of this. I've got to be in the mood for it. But lots and lots of sales and lots and lots of colour as well. Okay, so here is the trending now section, which at the moment, as you can see, is just consumed by coats. Um, I wouldn't say this is any sort of color it's obviously just focusing on the fact that it is coming into coat season now so these are all literally every single one that I can see are all this sort of felt 
coats and obviously a lot of duster coats, long line ones. You've got shackets over there, a lot more of these shackets. So they did this one last year, I actually have it, um, which is like a button up t-shirt, but it's almost like a suede material. I find that it's actually quite difficult to wear because it's quite a cool material and obviously you wear it when it's getting colder. So they have these back this year, they were around last year, and then a lot of felts. They've even got a leather over here, they've got denim, and then they've obviously got the thicker ones as well. But all of these are coming in at around 20 pounds, and the felt ones over there are 25. So I've just spotted these flare mid-rise jeans. So these are the same ones that we've seen just now, but these are in a lovely beige color. They've only got them, unfortunately, in 16s and 20s by the looks of it. Um, oh, and also an 18, but unfortunately none of those would be any good. But I would actually give these a go because you know me and beige. Um, but yeah, I love the seam down the middle. I feel like that's going to be really, really flattering. Just a good little classic that I wanted to cover. You've got a black duster coat. These this year are now £25. These are going up every year, of course, as of most things. But honestly, this is a really nice staple piece that you can have in your wardrobe um, for autumn. Okay, so a lot more autumnal over here. We've got lots of khakis, we've got bits of oranges, browns. I'm gonna start over here where we've got a cable knit um, jumper. So this one is 10 pounds. Got them in small, medium, large, extra large. These look really nice with a white shirt under them. I've never been brave enough to style them like that and actually purchase them to do it. But nevertheless, they got them in store. They've also got these hoodies, which they had last year. They were actually folded up on the table. I remember, because I've got a couple of them and I really like them. They're a really unique material. I can't remember if I paid 10 pounds. I think I did last year, but they've got this lovely caramel color one in store. We've also got a bit of cheetah print over here. So <laughs> this is definitely a statement coat. Um, so a massive puffer cheetah and this one is 30 pounds so we've got plenty of gilets in store i love how they've um visually merchandised this it literally is the colors of autumn i'm liking this color it's like a really warm chocolate brown they are 15 pounds so i bought a coat like this last year from boohoo and it is the best thing i've ever bought it's like walking around with the duvet on so i highly recommend and here they are 35 pounds and if i remember rightly that was much cheaper than boohoo but honestly guys if, especially if you watch like outdoor sports like i go and watch the rugby at the stadium this is like the best thing in winter definitely invest if you can this year um they are so comfortable We've also got the return of the leather jacket at £14. And then we've got these beautiful jackets, which I've already grabbed, grabbed one last year. Although I swear this is a slightly different grade this year. They are £28 and they are really similar to the ones you can get at Zara. The hardware is silver and it's like a really nice shiny silver hardware. So yeah, these go with so, so, so many outfits. They've also got it in black as well. Okay, so I'm now in the last section of the downstairs. We have got lots of knits down here. So we've got this really cute cropped navy knit at £14. We've then got like your like oversized slouchy jumpers. Uh, this one here is actually quite cute. It's £14. It's a nice grey mix. Nothing screaming out to me. I find this with the autumn season. I'll go in the mirror here so we can talk. I find it with the autumn season that there is not a huge amount of stuff that really screams out to me like it does in summer and spring. Um, so right now, I mean, apart from this, I, I, I've just seen this. I do love a jumper dress. This is the only thing so far that I have been like, that is really pretty. So this is 16 pounds and it's got the drawstrings. I might have to try this on. So they've got the boots fully back in stock. I'm really annoyed because I wanted a size seven in these guys and they didn't have them and I panicked and I kept the six, but they've now very much got the seven. These are 20 pounds, honestly guys, they are stunning. As I've told you before, they are a knockoff of the Stradivarius ones they did last year that were at about 50 pounds. Um, but now Primark are doing them for less than half that price. I'm really not too sure what's going on here, but we've got so much pink, even though it is the autumn season. Um, I mean, these are a statement and a half, that's for sure. And then we've also got these, which obviously are from the lingerie collection, but they've put them here so we can make them into a bit of a vision board and everything. But yeah, we've got definitely Barbie vibes at the moment over here. Oh, they've also got that sweater dress, but in black. That's quite nice. Okay guys, I've just spotted these as well and they've also got the black one which I've just grabbed. Does this remind you of anything? This is a complete, complete Zara dupe. The Zara dress that they do, I think I purchased in my last video and it was £45 I think. But they've got red, neon pink, black, 
and green and they are pretty much identical. Okay, so I'm pretty much like halfway through the store. This is definitely gonna be a full one only video because there is honestly not much that I'm seeing that I'm that excited about. I feel like everything is very, very bland. Um, it's also just like very basic. That's what I'm feeling right now. There's nothing that's standing out to me. There's nothing overly autumnal. There's not even that many like jumper dresses and like shirt dresses that are like this. There's a few, but I'm just not feeling like there's enough that's exciting me in store right now. So I'm obviously not just cover stuff for the sake of it. There's also a quite big amount of bright clothes still. Now, whether that's left over, which a lot of it will be because there's discounted price tags on it. Um, but then a lot of it hasn't. And like, for example, that Zara dress I just showed you, that come in all the different colors and that was full price. That's obviously new line. So I'm not too sure. I'm not really feeling, not really feeling it at the moment, Primark. Although saying that, I've just spotted these um, coated skinny jeans and this is a beautiful chocolate color at 13 pounds. Right, I think I'm gonna head over to shoes and accessories now. Okay, so coming into shoes, again, we've got a lot of the regular stuff. We've got the workout shoes. These are actually quite nice though, nice color. And we've got the knockoff Converse. They have got this really nice um, sage color. They're only six pounds. And they've also got a nice beige and then pinks and blues. And this is like almost a faux leather but in cream, which is quite nice. And then the classic blacks. I mean, these are like ultimate boring shoes. I mean, there is so many like these loafer style shoes as well. Not a massive fan of those. They're like just boring work shoe, aren't they? <laughs> They're trying to do some high tops over here at 12 pounds. I do like the color combo of those. Looks like last month when I came, I did get the best pick of the boots. So they do still have the regular boots here. So these are not like the ones I showed you downstairs. They don't have the zip. They're just a regular slip up and they're a bit higher. These are a little bit different because they've got a green sole, which is interesting. They've got the black ones with the zip there too. And then we've got like an opposite here. So they're black with the beige base as well. And then these are the ones I picked up last month. I think it was a month before. Still haven't worn them yet, but these are probably my top pick. I really like the way they look and they're only 17 pounds. So we've got the classic black flat boots here a nice chunky sole and these are 23 pounds they've also got them in beige um, I think around this side yeah there they are so they've got them in beige as well which the price shouldn't be any different 23 also and then we have like riding style boots here we've got brown and black both at 22 pounds so I've seen these boots which I really like the look of they're actually quite like cropped these are 22 pounds but they're really like I think these would be great going out boots like night out Okay, so these are new and they're very interesting. So these are pointed heels, which I actually quite the look of, like the look of, but they're like rubber. Can you see that? They're like rubber. I find that so strange. They kind of look really comfortable though. They do them in this bright red as well. And they're 15 pounds. That's interesting because most of the high heels here are like 14. But they've also got these mules, which I think they've got as all year round. They are so soft here though. So they're probably super comfortable to wear. Um, and these are 13 pounds actually. Right, let's head into the accessory section and see what is new here. We've also got cover bags as well. I'm hoping this is gonna be a bit more fruitful. So we've got this cute set of earrings, which have got these little shapes at the bottom. I love these ones, they're my favorite with the little princess cut. And then we've got like this set, which I think I might have seen before, but they're a little bit more of like on trend at the moment with the more chunky gold. And then these are definitely new, £3.50. And they're still doing this like, you know like the jewelry you used to get in magazines, that's what the vibe gives me of these. So £2.50 for them. Oh, they've even got little Halloween stuff. Now this is finally some autumn stuff, £3.50. And it's a little set of studs. We've got all the classic hoops that stay here all year round, but I've just spotted these guys, which obviously someone's abandoned, which are sort of like these beaten gold hoops. I think they're quite interesting at 250. And they've also got them in silver here, as well as they've got the green, like children's hoops at £2.50 as well. And then here is all of the Halloween Primark stuff. So I think this is definitely more than we've seen before. So you've got like a little veil there. You've got this really pretty mask for two pounds. You've got some Halloween scrunchies at two pounds as well. You've got the cat's ears. You've got some bats, little clips here at three pounds. You've got these skeleton earrings, which would be good for a Halloween party at two pound 50. Obviously the set we've seen just now, some more spider clips. And then these are like a dangly, 
version of the Halloween earrings as well at £3.50. Okay, let's head into Primark Beauty now and see what is new in. Fingers crossed we've got actually some more products here. So they still don't have the knockoff Charlotte Tilbury foundation, the glow one. It's only this matte one and another matte one as far as I can see. And then round here we have got a perfect finish one. We've got the concealer. Ah, here it is. Unfortunately, we've only got the really dark shade here, but honestly this stuff is amazing. If you can grab it, get it in your color. I'm the shade Honey for reference, which I do need a little bit of a tan for. Grab it. It's also quite sheer, so you can kind of afford to go a shade up. So if you're quite tanned, this will be fine. Got a cute little contour set here with Christmas coming up. This could be a little gifting idea. I have never seen anything like that before. It says it's to contour your nose. I am super curious about that. That's really interesting. So I haven't seen this brush before. It's three pounds and it's the PS Pro HD Kabuki brush. And it's like a square one. This is definitely duping Sigma. They did the 3D HD brush a long time ago, but that's interesting. I like the look of it. Just a bit of an overview of the hair stuff. Got some nice acrylic storage there. We've got these, which actually I've never tried before, but I've heard good reviews on them. Got like a tiny little mirror. We've got an angled hair curler. I've never seen anything like that before. It looks like the shape of a gun. <laughs> and then we've just got all of the, an overview of all of the other stuff. They have got the brown dry shampoo in. I've still not tried this yet. Oh, I kind of, am I one broke of this? A hot air brush. It's only 16 pounds as well. They've got packets of conditioning treatments up there. I haven't seen these before, they're new. So it's a little single use conditioning hair mask at £1.50. It's nourishing, that's conditioning. Unfortunately, there's nothing new to report on on Primark nails this month. They're all basic designs that I've seen before. And I can't even see, oh no, this is new here. I haven't seen these before. These are like a um, wine luxe one and these also abstract French I can't remember if we've seen them before but I'm surprised there's no like Halloween nails or anything at the moment they're probably to come still and they've got the toenails oh my goodness they've got the toenails in nude yeah they've also got the French oh I'm so glad they've stocked these up and this is such a nice color for autumn as well and it's only a pound which is amazing so we've got quite a few new beauty tools in this section so we've got like a shower cap we've got this full gel face mask that you could put in the fridge. This looks quite pretty. A little taupe makeup brush holder at four pounds. You've also got the stone roller here, but this one's now a vibrating one. However, it is nine pounds, which is crazy. And they've also got a T-bar massaging tool again that vibrates at seven pounds. This is in the Mickey range, but I just have to show you, I've never seen anything like that before. Half price at the moment to seven pounds, but it's a rotating beauty organizer. This thing is, is really big as well. And it's got a little Mickey thing at the top there. I have never seen anything like this, how extra. They've also got a facial steamer for 12 pounds. Very uh, TikTok shop. <laughs> Seems like we've got loads of new in tools because we've also got two cryo freeze face tools. I've seen people use these again 
TikTok, things like that, you sort of see these. They tend to have the liquid in them with the glitter. That's the ones I've seen before. You've also got a skincare fridge. These were trending for such a long time. This is 38 pounds though. I find that incredible. But then again, I'm not too sure how much they would have been online. Um, but yeah, definitely something to keep in mind for a gift for this Christmas if you know somebody who loves their skincare. Okay, now it's time to head into Primark home. Okay, so I mean, this is not a great start. How messy and picked over. Oh my goodness, I've not seen it this bad in a while. Hmm, let's hope all the way over there is much better. So anyway, we have got, we've still got pumpkins in store. We've still got the pumpkins. In fact, this is the only pumpkin I didn't pick up at four pounds. I'm just not a massive fan of the olive color. It's still pretty. We do still have the pumpkin casserole dishes here as well. These are 16 pounds. I've still not used mine yet. Um, I'm a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie, to put it in the oven, because nothing says on there about what the maximum temperature is, and I know with cheaper crockery like this, you have to be careful. Um, we've also got a lovely autumnal um, leaf tray here for six pounds. We've got some little autumn mugs. We've got a little fox and a little, it's supposed to be a beaver or something like that. If you want to add some brown tones into your furniture, they've got these really nice big tuft cushions. They're 10 pounds a piece. You've also got kind of like a matching waffle throw here too. And this one is not got a price on it. I imagine it's around 10 pounds. I do like this knot candle. I think this is quite pretty. And again, what is going on? What is going on? There's literally no prices on anything. I'm sorry about that, guys. Beautiful autumnal wreaths here. Very, very autumnal, literally with the colors of autumn in the leaves. This is 10 pounds. And this explains probably why there is not much stock down here because we've got Christmas stuff, guys. The Christmas stuff is coming out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This candle is so different. Why does it have to be brassy gold? I hate that. This is a massive long candle with like one, two, three, four, eight wicks on it. It's in cedarwood and patchouli and it's 12 pounds, but that is so different. I love, love that. It's a shame it's in gold. We've also got some reductions and then I haven't seen this um, bodice candle before. It's quite pretty with the gold running through it as well. And this is three pounds, which is quite good considering it's quite big. And then as I said, we've got some Christmas over here, but I just, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Oh, we've also got Christmas over here. Oh my goodness. This is new, I've not seen these before. How autumnal, it's three pumpkin and coffee flavored milk chocolate bombs and that packaging is so, so cute. A little bit steep though at five pounds, I'd say. You've got black in your bathroom. We've got a few reductions over here. So we've got a little kit of bathroom accessories that's half price at seven pounds. And then this is so cute. I wish they had this in um, like a beige color or white. It's only five pounds and it's shampoo, conditioner and body wash. And it's like all set together. I hadn't seen that before. That's lovely, but it's super heavy. Like that's really, really heavy. But if you had like a, um, you know, like the alcoves in the shower, like I feel like that would look so nice and tidy. And the fact that it's got the embossed labeling, that is lovely, I love that. And then finally, I think this is the last of it, but we've got so many reductions in store again at the moment. So we've got those pinch pots down to five pounds. We've got little serving trays. There's actually the pinch pots so I can show you. They're really pretty actually really pretty marble. We've got some champagne flutes down to five, some more here that are down to four. We've got a little bottle here which you could put like olive oil or vinaigrette in down to half price at three. I think this is like napkin holders which are quite interesting with the gold. Um, yeah we just got loads of reductions going on at the moment. I'm gonna imagine that these are also reduced because last time I bought those ones it was reduced. Oh actually this is amazing I need to grab another one. They've got more of the um, stuff over here. So I've already picked up a few of these already. I've used that, I use that currently for my wash and it's reduced so cheap. I've got a sports clothes refresher, which again, I'm gonna presume that that is reduced because in the reduced section. You've got the crease remover down to a pound. I just spotted this little storage basket on its own. It is seven pounds, I think. Yeah, seven pounds, but I really like this color. I feel like this would be a good stair basket. Just leave it at the bottom of the stairs and chuck in all the stuff you want to bring up. We've also got it in this nice black and white color and also a blue. 
these really pretty seagrass baskets are also reduced, or trays should I say, from five pound to three. I was actually looking for one of these for my dining table for the autumn decor. I don't know if I need it now though, but nice to know that they're reduced. We've also got a little nest here that's reduced from half price, to half price, sorry, from 12 pounds to six. And guys, I think that's gonna conclude Primark Home. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's Primark Come Shop With Me for October 2022. It was honestly such a mixed bag. I was really happy to see the browns, the car keys, the burnt oranges, the wines in store, but the fact that they were mixed in with those neons was just absolutely throwing me off. I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like, we're, we're in October already and I feel like Primark hadn't fully transitioned yet, which is a little bit disappointing. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. There will not be a Primark haul this month because I didn't pick up a single thing. Now don't get me wrong, there was a couple of things in store. I said to you guys in the vlog that I was gonna grab. I got to the end, I had like three things of clothing, like three items of clothing and bits. And honestly, the store was shambles. There was stuff everywhere. There was empty shelves and there was massively long queues on every single floor. So I was just ready to go. I was like, do you know what? I don't want this stuff that much. So it's the first time I've left Primark empty handed in a very, very long time. But I head back to Primark all the time just because I don't film it. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will know when I'm in store. I do tend to post the new in bits that catch my eye while I'm in there. But you never know, I might go back later on in October and there could be a world of goodies. So keep your eyes peeled for a Primark haul. I'm not promising there won't be one, but there certainly won't be one from this trip. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any of my uploads. And apart from that, thank you for spending some time with me and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao.